All right. So I, here's the, the goal today. Um, we're going to, we're in, in Siman Kuf Aleph in Yeradea. Um, we're going to read through the tour because we didn't get to do that in class. Um, we're not going to look at any of the Nosei Kalim on the tour. Um, I struggled, but I, I really wanted to, but we're not going to, uh, just for my time's sake. And then we'll we'll spend time with the Shulchan Aruch, um, which we also didn't get to look at, just because I want to kind of get down to the baseline halach, uh, halachot of Chatichari Yalit Gabed Lifnei Orchim. Um, so with that, um, maybe I'll kick it off and then we'll we'll throw it to Jacob and then Alish. Um, so we're in the tour again, just to remind people. Mm-hmm. Um, in Kufalaf. All right. Chatikha ha-re'uya litkabed, dina kevirya she'ena betela. All right. So we, we saw this uh, birya last last week, right, which is a case where it doesn't matter. It's not it's not batel. Well, there was an opinion that was batel in 1 and 960, but generally it's not batel. And a chatikha ha litkabed, which we haven't really defined, but it has the same thing. It's not batel. All right. I would translate it as a, I don't know, a, a, a piece of something that is, you know, enough to uh, with which to honor or be honored through, shall we say, uh, one of the way. But um, all right. And so you might think, right, the Hava meaning here is that if it's a sur bahana'a, right, then it's not Ria for anybody. So how can you, how can you have um, kibud through it? But the truth is, if, if it was Batel, then you could. And therefore, it also falls under... Um, uh, um, the rule of Ruyalit Kabed, as we saw it explicitly in the Mishnah, for instance, um, a, a basar, a piece of meat that has absorbed halav, right, which is has an isur of hana'a, can nonetheless not be batel if it's Ruyalit Kabed. So, okay, aval, tama batel kedin birya. But like birya, right, the um, the flavor of it, so let's, let's imagine you drop a, a piece of like, steak amongst other steaks and you cook them together and you but you know which one that steak is and you throw it out um you know or you throw all the steaks out maybe even because it's not batel the 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 juices and the and the uh, the brine and so forth there it's a question of flavor was there uh one in 60 against it for instance assuming it says something that, that has a uh, 60 to 1 ratio um, okay um any questions thoughts on beginning of the tour jacob take it away for a bit um sorry where are we in the tour uh bet the davka she isura machmatatsma if you have a tour that has c fim in it yeah um the davka she isura machmatatsma kmo novela uvasar khalav about even as our machmat kiblatam vi sura vlo hayuba she shimavatlo afilu misha silver sent next about kinavela in the Dean Hatiha Uyali Gabez, will never Ella Machba Tom Sukibla. So, specifically, that it was prohibited because of itself, um, like Nivela or Basar of but if it's prohibited because it received the top um, the flavor from something forbidden and it didn't have succeed to invalidate it, even. T- someone who thinks it is like an Avela, it's still not in this category of um, since it wouldn't be forbidden or since it's only forbidden because of the flavor it received. Good. Just two things I want to highlight there. One, Basar Bechalav, you might think, well, that's Kabbalah Tam, right? But it's not. That's a, a new thing, uh, you know, a new uh, Esor on its own, and therefore it's not. Con- it's considered Machmat Atzma. And mm-hmm. the other thing is, this is kind of the limit of Hanan the tour is giving us here is even if yeah. you hold Hanan, right, Bishar Yisurim, or, or or we could just be talking about Basar Bechalav where everyone holds Hanan, right? Um, it, it it becomes a Nevila, but it still has kind of this you know marking on it that it received that Tom that made it Nevila from somewhere else, so it itself cannot become a Chatichari Yalit Gabed if Neorachim. So so because the Havamina is right. Well, if it's Hanan. Then yeah, this is it's the whole thing is asur, and it's it, the whole thing is asur mechmat atzma. You could say, but no, uh, we don't go that far. Okay, that's bet. Um, uh, good. Any questions, thoughts before we move on to Alish for Gimel? All right, Alish, take Gimel okay. first. Uh, <laughs> יש אומרים שתנגולת בנוצתה 
כן חתיכה חיה, כיוון שאין הראויין, אתה לא חשיבי, לא חשיבי ראויה להתקבל. Okay, so um, in uh, regarding the issues of Chatechah uh, Reuel Gabet, my father uh, Rosh wrote that uh, there's um, a lot of opinions. Uh, there are those who say that, uh, that the Tarnagol Benotzata, is it not Star? Is it, uh, it's, it's like it's, uh, it's Tarnagol with its feathers? Yeah, it... the fe- you haven't plucked it yet, right? So... You haven't plucked the feathers, yes. Vechen. Chaya, uh, so chaya means uh, ah, like I'm, if it's I'm, I'm right, 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 yeah, like raw, exactly. like raw thing, okay. Uh, give, uh, because at the moment uh, they are not ready to be served uh, and to be mechabet um, somebody, so yeah. they are not uh, they are not in this category. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's that's opinion one. Right. It's. It's if it's not in its state that you can literally put it in front of somebody to eat, then it's not chatikha reali kabed. Okay, opinion one. Uh, keep going. Ve'afilu. Ve'afilu behema shlema betela at le'achar shenit bashla ve'reuya liten lifnei orach lechabdo. So even the the whole behema uh, uh, can be battle. Uh, uh, or only when it's when it's uh, like thoroughly cooked uh, yeah and and it can be served to a guest uh, in order to honor him exactly right there's a lot of steps between a cow <laughs> to mm-hmm. a steak and until you okay. take those steps it's not really bad according to this set of opinions that we that we've seen opinion number mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. but ולא נהירה דלה כאמר ראויה להתכבד אלא לשיעורה שתהא גדולה וראויה לכבד בה אורח לכשתתבשל אבל בשביל שהיא חיה או בנוצתה לא בטלה חשיבותה. And it's not clear because it's not said, like uh, when we use the phrase uh, uh, so we talk only about uh, uh, the shiur, uh, which is big, like big enough. Uh, exactly, so big enough. That, yeah, like, that's the important part enough, there. Right, so that it's, um, so that we can honor uh, with it uh, a guest uh, uh, after it's cooked, uh, but um, uh, if it's raw or uh, if it's with its feathers, uh, so one would say that uh, there it's important. It's not batel. Yeah. Exactly, and to go backwards in some ways, right? It, it stays chashuv until you cut it down to such a size as it no longer or no longer is chashuv, right? Mm. As opposed to so if it still has the potential, right? As you're cutting it down to become ruyalit kabed lifnei orchim, it falls into this category of not being batel for that reason. So, mm-hmm. so okay, so you have to pluck it. So once you pluck it, it'll become reality kaved. But if you like cut it down to hamburger meat, then maybe it loses that status. Uh, and then it's, it goes back to the earlier scene. I mean, we talked about that or Batel. Mm-hmm. Right. This is all remember, this is all the Rosh writing here. He's quoting, he's quoting his mm-hmm. father, the Rosh. Okay. Good. Keep keep going a little bit. Mm-hmm. וגם יש אומרים דקבז שלם או אבס שלם אינו נקרא ראויה להתכבד שאין דרך ליתן לפני אורח כבש או אבס שלם. I'll stop here I think. So and also there are those who say that the whole sheep or whole was it goose or they are not they are not called ראויה להתכבד because it's it's not common, it's not usual to um, serve uh, to an oreach, a whole sheep or a whole goose. Vegam eru divrei habaye hem. Habaye, right? These habai. are oh, so these divrei divrei habai. Stuyot, like, like, yeah. Vechi bishvil sheruya lechalek lechamachatichot chashuvot garatfei. 
you have to ask that as a like a nice rhetorical question, right? Okay, okay, got it. So uh, I'm going back. Uh, uh, so and and these are like silly words. I don't know how to translate it <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. because um, is it on, only because of that it's like big enough that you can cut it into a lot of small pieces, as you said. Uh, it's not called uh, regulate kabet. Yeah, in other words, like I'm going to rephrase that if if you don't mind. Right, he's saying mm -hmm. right. Sure. So wait, I have a a cow I can, or a, let's say a sheep I can cut into ten steaks because mm -hmm. I because I can make ten steaks out of it. It's less hash, hashuv than if it was a single steak, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, like you know, that's that's ridiculous. That's the Rosh is saying. Okay, and then he's got this kol shekan, right? Kol shekan de hashivt fe et dar kolim no. Of course, that it's like more important uh, uh, the one which are like what is it? It was like bought only, uh, sold only by pieces, like or. Yeah, this is further proof of its chashivut, right? The fact that we, you know, you don't buy cows or sheep by the by the pound, or you know, like mm -hmm. by the weight, you buy the number, right? Uh, and that's that just shows its chashivut of each individual already, which is a whole nother topic. In this, the, the rosh seems to have a shita that the um, the varshim minyan is also a chashivut issue, right? Mm -hmm. If you can think mm -hmm. that, then that argument doesn't work as well. But um, so, okay, good. That's so the Rosh, just, I want to just, uh, just uh, please. Yeah, yeah if you have a book, take a peek at Kuf Yud, Simon Kuf Yud Sif Bet in the tour. Just one line there. Kuf Yud, you said Sima, uh, Sif Bet? Sif Bet in the tour, Kuf Yud. Um, wait. Uh, yeah. Kuf Yud. So, about the exact time you did. So here he's saying he's lump he's saying that a why would it be? Well, first, I'm asking a question really. Why would it be that a Bali Chaim that um, is is Batel if it's Nishchat? It's really Chabad. Yeah, you can make 10 steaks out of it, right? At the exactly. Point. I don't yeah. know the answer exactly. He's thinking in different terms. He's thinking in the terms of Bali Chaim are not Batel. Then now it's no longer a Balichayim, it's dead. So it was that's why it's then it's so now it's Batel. So you could say it's, but, it's a filing, uh, an organizational thing where he would say, if we go back to Kufal, if it is, it's still not Batel. It's just not, it's not, it, it is Batel for a different the, reason. Yeah. It's like so. for a different reason. It's a little bit confusing, but yeah, he, sh he kind of should have said over there, it's not, but it, it loses its name of Balichayim. But it's still the Bar Chashuv, like he said over here. Yeah. So it's strange. So it is strange. Just pointing out strangeness. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it's good. And there's also a good reminder, Rav Nahum, that you know it's it's you can't read these sections of your idea without reading all of the sections of your idea, right? That that um because they all kind of come together at some point. Um yeah, you got you gotta know you gotta keep it all in your head. Yeah, which is which good is the luck, hard part luck. of all. Yeah, exactly. So but uh all right, um, Vav. Uh, I, that's my next thing is Vav in, in, in my tour, um, I guess, because it corresponds to Vav in the Shulchan Aruch. Um, uh, maybe, Rav Nachum, you want to read for us? Is that, can we can we volunteer you, or are you just an observer? Yeah, no, it's, no I'm fine. Vaha de biri v'hatecha ruya litchabed lo batli. And that which we said, that these things are not batal, that these v'hatecha ruya litchabed and biriya, davka... That's only when they're still whole. But if they were made into a sauce or whatever, they, they became broken up. Batli, the two lo chashivi, because they are no longer chashuv. Um, of course, I like that's to think what of, I, I like to only think... if you did a bit Yeah, 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 we're going to get ahead. there, actually. Um, 
um, but uh, in, in, a, in a two lines, but I, I always like to think about it like you made it into baby food, right? You know, at that point, uh, you know, for your kid, you stuck in the blender. Of course, it's not hush -youth anymore, you know. So. Right. Well, even if it's smaller to be smaller than the size of a Rue Le Yeah. So you made uh, it small enough. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Im nesar kvar this is a big Kiddush. Mm -hmm. Even if it, the Tarovit is before become forbidden because it has this uh or it has this birya in it. Mm -hmm. And now you come along, Vinitrasku, and it be and now they became oh. notice he uses the passive voice. It yeah. became uh broken up, acharka, mitpatlim. They are, they can still get a din of bitl, even though previously the whole taro was was forbidden. Yeah. Because if, if you beshoge, mm -hmm. and he says, Vedavka Shnitrasku Habiri Vatika Beshoge. It's only if you did it accidentally. Avabamazid Shekiven Lebatlam Asur the Mishikiven Lebatlam. Now here he says Bamazid, he defines Bamazid that your goal was to Mevatlam. Then it's Asur to the person who uh intended to do the bitl, but not to other people. But the interesting question you can ask is from the Lushan, if you're very sensitive to the language, mm -hmm. you would say, what if I didn't kiven the batlam, I just uh, mm -hmm. wanted to make puree soup. And mm -hmm. I pureed it for other purposes. I wasn't trying to vatel it. Maybe maybe I didn't know it was there. I don't know. I yeah, mean, no, I so good. <laughs> Well, we remember we saw this principle too of right. What if it was right. with honey? I think in, in the question of like if you're adding right. something to, to do B tool, right? If you have another intention, then maybe that's okay at that point. And so here, if 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 always my intention was to to cut these pieces into small, really strips and and fry them or something, you know, and to put them in a stir fry. Um, well, then the question is like this: What if you were soaking chickpeas because you wanted to make boiled chickpeas? Mm -hmm. And then you realize that you cooked them or whatever, and you realize that, uh, I don't know, that, there's, that you didn't check them for bugs. And now it's too late to check them. Can you say, well, I'm going to make hummus now. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm not grindy in order to move out. I want to make a new dish now. And 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 as a byproduct, it'll be butter. I think you could even say that is permitted. Because because uh. once you've decided now to make hummus, so that's you have, a, you have an alternate reason. Yeah. He's, so... No, I think you're. I think that the duke is very important. Uh, of that, it has to be that the kavanas is beetle and not the the so the kavanas just to, to to save the dish by doing by making it into a different dish that's that's mutar. You know, it's it's a little bit different. So, mm -hmm. but uh, okay, good. Um, Alana, uh, can you read uh, the, the next one for us, Umihu? Sure. Um, umihu afal pi shenechtecha chaticha achat en tolin lomar haisur nechtach umipatel. Okay, so if uh, one of the pieces gets cut up, so it's not shalem anymore, and therefore not a chaticha shirei lechabed, but it wouldn't be batel, um, you can't assume that it was the that the piece that got cut up was the iser piece, um, and and therefore all the pieces are mutar because you've gotten rid of the isur. You can't say that that you've gotten rid of the isur and the rest are all mutar or mutar anyway. Um, Ella otash, but rather we say that the only the one that we cut up, the one that's no longer shalem, only that one is permissible, and that one is permissible in any case, regardless, because if it's the isur, then you know that one's cut up and the rest are fine, and if it's that piece is not isur, then uh, then only that one is mutar, and the others are still asur because we have you know we still have a you know one chaticha that's not mitbatelat among the others. Mm -hmm. Um, and even if most of them got cut up, we don't assume that uh, that the that that the Easter was part of the majority that were cut up. Um, no, we just say all of the ones that were cut up are permissible, and the and the the ones that are remain whole are asur. Which is, you know, this is 
I mean, I don't know. We see, we've seen this come up before where we have assumed, like we had it with the, like the thing that you um, throw into the yam. I think it was like a pearl, right? Where yeah. there we assume the opposite. There we assume, I think that was an Orla case. I don't remember, but I don't remember. But there we assume, we assume that the Esor is the one that fell into the yam and, and permit everything else. Um, I miss, maybe that's like, because this is Joe right to that was driven on. I don't know. I don't know why we. Good. Well, we're also going to run into, and I was thinking, I think it was either a shock or taz on this, Simon, the question of why the Kol uh, um, I'm a freshman, uh, Parish Mi Ruba Parish, right? This principle that anything we take out comes from the majority. Um, although here it's not so, and that uh, will go up against this principle of Kavua. Um, mm-hmm. But here it's not so clear that, right, just the majority of them are, are cut up, but it doesn't necessarily tell you that the the Easter piece was from the majority. I, right. I don't think that you can right. say that, right? You can say that each piece I took out mm-hmm. was just a piece, right? In fact, if you, if I played with that, I would never take out the Easter uh, in, in that no. sense. So I don't think you can say that so easily here. I, I was thinking about this for a while the other night, um, but uh, I know Rav Nachum's thinking. I can see the the wheels turning there, but uh, he'll yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking exactly about your question. I'm thinking just about the Havamina. And the Havamina, I guess, is because uh, it's because it's the Rabbanan. Because yes. it's the Rabbanan. And uh, you know, so one so we can be told that told that we can presume, we can make presumptions because so he's saying no, the rabbis who instituted this law don't want you to make presumptions to make yours to get out of the law. Yeah. So I mean you could you could go the other way and say, right, that if all the pieces become asur because this one piece in there is like is a uh, uh, you know novella, and then one piece gets cut up. Like so, what? Right, all of them became asur, and you can't assume the one that got cut up is was the easter. Oh, that's the place. so. And you know, you could you go you could go you could have gone the chumrah and say that it doesn't matter at this point unless you, you actually see the cases of the of the throwing one into the of, of one falling into the yamsuf. You don't throw it; it fell into the yamsuf. Yeah, it fell mm-hmm. it, it, by itself. That was a case, I think, where there's an Isra Hana'a. Mm-hmm. It's a vote of rings, if I remember correctly, right? Right. Yeah. And and and, and, and Isra Hana'a, you're not getting Hana'a anymore because you have one less. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I'm sure you want to go to Shulchan Aruch. I do. I do want to go to Shulchan Aruch. Um, so, all right, good. That's the tour um, on, on all of this. And we'll see how the, the, the Mechaber Paskins um, some will be very similar, some will be a little different. And remember, we have, I think, in the important point, the, the only real huge point of Machloket that was sitting behind us with all of this was the Rosh brought um, questions about um, bigger than Ruyali Kabed, let's call it, or something like that, or not prepared, not yet Ruyali Kabed, but on its way to it. Um, and the Rosh seemed to think that that was still Chaticha Ruyali Kabed, um, but, um, but he brought other opinions that said that it's not. So, okay, so Kuf Aleph in the Shulchan Aruch. Right, Din Chati Chati Relit Kabed. I'll start again. It's, I like. Uh, I'll take Aleph. All right, Chati Chal Harialit Kabed. Dina Kaviria. The Afilu be Aleph lo Batla. All right. Um, Vafilu im he Asura Bahanaa, which we didn't. Uh, oh yeah, we did. Kevan she im tit Batel Haytam Uterat Realit Kabed. So right, he adds to the tour. The tour didn't say. The tour said it's not Batel. He says even in a thousand it's not Batel. Probably to clarify. Right, that opinion we had uh, that we saw from the Rashba about Biria before that one in nine sixty maybe it's Patel, and he says if uh, and even if it's has an Isra of Hanaa, which you might said, well in that case it's not really Kaved. He says because if it became Batel, it would no longer be an Isra Hanaa and would be Muteret. Uh, it would be really Kaved. It's it's still not Batel. All right, we saw that in the tour as well. Um, Haga, this is the Rama. Vafilo ena asura rak mi Ena betela, he adds, you know, even if it's just a, a derabanan on Isur, um, it's still, we still have this rule of um, a, uh, Riyalit Kabed, and then it's not Batal. Ve'im, who's Safek, this is the important part. Even, even though you, wait, even though you might have said, what's the Havamina? Maybe it says Durabanan on a Durabanan. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Durabanan, Durabanan, and therefore there is no Gezerah on Gezerah, essentially, right? In goes right, but Gezerah. we say, no, we say there is a Gezerah on a Gezerah. Mm-hmm. So, um, but ve'im hu safek im hiru yalit kabed ila as lina the kula right afilu hi asurami diaraita so um and so for an, even for an isur diaraita that's like a nevela right nevela is isur diaraita that gets mixed in with a bunch of other nevelot in the reyotlit kabed 
Um, but we're suff we're actually suffec if they're actually real thick bed. We don't know. Maybe it's a question of size or a question of you know. Um, th but then we go to Kula, right? Which is why because this is all the the, the rule that is not uh, batel and therefore uh, suffec the rabbanon like Kula. Because so. <laughs> it is a deraita that really be deraita is batel. Exactly. Yes. It's really it's really batel, and so the only thing the rabbis are saying is not batel. But we have a suffix. If the rabbis would really have said about this, did would they would they have made it for that pronouncement? Because this piece maybe is borderline, or maybe it's uh, we don't. For what it's an interesting question. What kind of suffix that is? Where suffix whether it's really mm -hmm. Um So we could be make it. What about if it's a suffix iser deraita? In other words, it's like it's a suffix trefa. Yeah. Um. Good. Um. But. Uh... And, and it would be batel according to the Torah, but the rabbi said it's a ruetik so it's not batel. So um, let's, take look, uh, let's take a look at the shach bet. Um, maybe maybe I'll read. I'll read since I was reading. Uh, this is the bet in the shach. Vimu safek, right? The chaticha ruetik kabed, the la bat betela berov who mid the rabbanan. All right, v'safek the rabbanan leakel. V'davka safek im who chaticha ruetik kabed. Right. So that sounds like from there, if it's if the safek, the safek has to be on, does have the status of Riyalit Kabed, not the safek on its Esor status. Um, right, but this is right, which is a very important point, which is interesting because it's saying that a suffix, if you have a suffix trefa, which is Asr which is a suffix deraita, the khumra. But you can't say, well, what you know, but here's Batel Midir Raita because it's in a mixture. Yeah. And it would be Batel. And the rabbis come and said to Rabbanan, it's it's not Batel. It isn't Batel. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um and it so, has yeah. to be in the same matter, manner, in the same thing. That's the suffix has to be about the Rabbanan, not about the Raita. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um any Anything we need to clarify on on Olive so far? Uh, we'll come back and maybe do some notes, Caitlin, depending if we have time later. But uh, for the moment, I, I, let's push us on a little bit. So maybe Jacob, you want to take bet? Um, sure. Um, so in la din katika ruya lekabed ella im kain asura machmat atma go nevela uvasar vechalav. So, the law of Chaticha only applies if it's forbidden because it inherently is a sore. Um, for example, the Vela or Matzah Rechalav. About Im Nasra Machmat Shikibla Tam Isor, Velo Haya Ba Shishim Labatlo, Afi Lulamisha Sofar Chaticha Atma Nasa Nevela. So, that if it was forbidden because received Tom from something forbidden and it didn't have 60 to invalidate it, even for someone who holds that it doesn't have the law of exactly. Okay. So, which is exactly, I think, unless people see it, exactly like we saw in the tour, right? There's no uh, no changes here. But the Haga, I think, here is very important. So, yeah. So, and even the piece of meat that wasn't salted that can be batel since it's not forbidden because of itself, but because of the blood it's absorbed in it. Right. What's the hava amina? That you might think that, you know, the blood is part of the animal, that it, it it's inherently. Yeah. It, and it starts out with, it starts out as an adult, you know, meat with blood. <laughs> exactly. Not, so, but places no. And then of course the next one also is very important to read the next piece in the Rama. Um, 
So any piece of me that wasn't for that was only forbidden, like because of it's like a layer. But so it, good. I, I'm gonna. It's it's only there are certain cases where the absorption of the esor only happens a, to a small layer down. Okay. Right. Um, and, oh, and it's so because it's only that small layer, not the whole piece. It's not proper for honor. yes that that part itself that becomes us but the the, the I, we won't go look into it but the shah asked a great question he's like wait a second we said that anything that's not mahmat is uh isn't really kaved. so why do you have to tell, tell me about that it, that it's only in a case of klipa right that's Maybe of course not mahmat so what's his answer anybody remember well, it is this basar bachalov exactly that's yeah, basar bechalav case where you would only have, like let's say you have a piece of basar that only absorbs the milk in its top yeah. layer. That's what we're talking about here. It must be a case like I, that. I have a question. Yeah. yeah, I have a question. If I can, we said before that even in Isra Drabanan, we apply the din of hatikharu Yeah. Now, a piece of meat that wasn't salted is an Isra Drabanan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in other words, that piece is. In other words, it, first of all. The din is you can eat raw meat that wasn't salted as it is. It's not even asadur banan. If it's, if, 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 but when you, cook, but we're assuming okay. that you cooked yeah. it, you cooked it without salting it. So it's, it's, um, it's only asadur banan. So why isn't that an asadur banan? It should be, why is it, why is it not called, in other words, he's saying that asadur banan is because of the blood that's in it. And therefore, it's not really that the meat is us, or just the blood in the meat that's us, sir. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, that's interesting. Because you could say, well, what do you mean? The piece is us, or banan, but it's, ah, he says, ah, but it's because of the blood that's in it. So I sort of answered my question. Yeah. Okay. No, it's good. It's it's an important point. Um, so, okay. Um, yeah, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing well. Well, you got to talk about the Taz. You can say it outside. But you I want to say, it. okay. So we're going to do the, the or you the, can read it inside, but you got to talk about Gabina. Um, we, we can, I actually, I think if I remember correctly, the bear had have had a nice summary of it. Um, and do, yes. Um, all right, we'll do it. Let's, let's do everyone go back to the bear had to have Dalid. this way. We don't have to do the entire Taz, um, but we can actually see something inside. So, um, uh, maybe, uh, Alish, you want to read it? It's, it's, um, yeah, I'll, I'll find it. Th Tom. Tom. Yeah. Remember this <laughs> is uh, the idea. Uh, if it's, Nesra mechamat shekiblat tam in the isur, right? Um, that uh, that's not chaticharia uh, lekabed. So now he's gonna. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. De ha en ha balu arau lekabed umikoach ze katav be was it torat chadad de gvina shehu amda bechalav trefa shenit alva. De lo havei hatikha ru yala itkabet sha isur ba baluahu okay uh, so uh, because the, the isur balua uh, itself is not ra yala itkabet do i understand it correct yes yeah, so, so what, what's the case here give us the case uh, okay so so some some piece like absorbed uh, an isur ah no, it's cheat right we have you have gvina you have ah, the gvina right there's the case of gvina right uh, which is right. um, what's the what's what's it called when you add rennet to cheese? I can't think of it. The curdled is that the the, the... probably probably that that's what I recall from. <laughs> right. um... I, I think it is right, like the haamada of the of the cheese, right? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so I, what's okay. the case? Okay. Yeah, what's so, the case? So what's okay? So uh, the gvin, so the the cheese was uh, curdled uh, with the chalif of trefa, uh, uh, which was mixed into it. The lo havei chatikhar yulayit abed. Wait, what's the case? I want more details. Yeah, yeah, I knew. Right. Yeah. What is the case? How I'm, much? I'm Give me an example. I'm, How much I'm, milk? I'm reading it aloud just to just understand. So the way I understand it is like that simply the davar ma'amit, which was from no, I'm sorry. So it was the chalav was uh, chalav trefa, okay, uh, and it was mixed into a kosher milk, right? Or, or it was probably more likely it was mixed into the rennet, 
that they were using. Uh, okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure it where. Makes more sense. Well, there's uh -huh. two possibilities. There's two possibilities. That One is uh, it could yeah. be that it's a lot of kosher milk, a mm. little bit of trefa milk, and then we're not talking about the rennet. The rennet was kosher rennet, maybe. Mm. Mm. That's one possibility. It's just like this, right? Or the possibility is that the that the milk, that the tray for milk, is actually the substance that causes the cheese to become cheese. Hmm. Because, but I never heard of milk causing cheese to become cheese. Yeah. But maybe it's milk that had been curdled before. Yeah, I, I think you can. I was thinking, I, I, I only did a little looking into this, but I think maybe someone knows more about cheese because Rav Nachum and I were talking about this earlier, but... I think you can, and this was your suggestion, I think, Rav Nahum too, right? Is that you can sometimes use the enzymes of the milk itself to curdle other cheese. Is that right? Um, That's what I was suggesting, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, there was, the main sub, but either way you're going to look at it, the main substance of this cheese is kosher milk. Yeah. It's It's got, but the, it's been curdled or or admixtured to some tray for milk. Mm -hmm. But and we generally have a principle if that is Devar Hamamid, it's not Batel at all, right? So they don't even ratios don't even matter in that case. But if it's not Devar Hamamid, then you could have it that there's just there's enough of that uh trefa milk that uh you don't have a, a ratio to 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 be batel it. So okay. And and what is the the, the Torah Khatat, what's his rule? Is this is this, uh, is this it, it's not, like Right. It it's not Khatikhari Kabet because the issu which is in it is like a, Isur, isur balua. Uh, it's so it's just it's just that the the, the non kosher part. Uh, uh, well, let's say the, the the kosher part of the how do you call this davar ma'amit in English? Is it rennet? What was the rennet? The curdling agent. Rennet, the curdling yeah. agent. Okay, so um, this uh, in this kosher part of this uh, curdling agent, there was isur balua of the non kosher uh, milk. Good. Enter, enter the Bach. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, the Bach Tama Aze. The Pasag Bagvina shall ovet Kohavim. The Lomehaneba Sveik Sveika. Kevan de Isur Megufa. So it's um, and, and Bach uh, was. Uh, not astonished, but he was uh, perplexed. Well, I don't have an English tea. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, the, because what is written in the Torah Chatat, so, um, so, so uh, because in the Torah Chatat, he, he Pasag gave a Psak uh, that um, uh, the, the Psak was about the Gvina shell of the Kohavim. Uh, that uh, fake sveika is uh, not apl applicable onto it uh, mm -hmm. uh, because it's uh, itself forbidden. Uh, Good. Uh, and if the isur is mikufa, mm -hmm. right, then it's not balua, and therefore hatichari alit kabed should apply. The Torah chasad has also mm -hmm. become inconsistent. Right? Mm -hmm. In one place he says gvinat akum is um, is not is balua, and in one case he says it's from its kufa. Uh, mm. So, so which is it? So, mm -hmm. right, so keep keep reading. Vim mm -hmm. ken. Okay, so he should have uh, passed that it's it should be hatikari relate kabet because it's megufa. Veteret hataz desham marei begvina sheyesh ba chashash shenit arav ba charav tame. Velo haya sham bitul berov. Uh, one more word. Uh, but, uh, right, better of Okay. Uh, um, okay. So and, and keep going. Do the kamash malan too, just to the kamash malan, the linians fix feka, hechmiru keivan. And I'm skipping. But linians fix feka hechmiru. Kevan Shechamim, Asuruhu Mithila, Mikoach Safek de Oraita, Mikre Vadai Trefa. The Safek Arishon, the Safek Arishon, okay, Nechshav Levadai, Mashen Ken Hacha, and it goes on. Yeah, we'll do the Mashen Ken Hacha as the more important part. So just give us a summary of, of that one. Okay, uh, go back. Uh, so the, the terutz of Taz was that there it thought about the Gvina, 
where there was a uh, 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 that there was um, we were afraid that there was uh, there was some halav uh, tameh. Uh, so so it says, but but it still means into the uh, Brennan, right? Like the halav tameh. Well, they could be halav tameh. Could just be that they used halav tameh anyway, to make, they, they, make the cheese. Right. Ah, so. they they used only halaf tamed to make the cheese. Okay, so, so but not only. Then it got mixed in. You, you mixed in some camel's you know milk with it or something like that. This is, mm -hmm. by the way, it's a real. Okay, place right, and, 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 and then right. right, and yeah. there was no bitul berov, so it was partially, but it was uh, more than rov. Veka uh, mashmalan the and and so therefore we learned that uh, in. Matter of fake sveka, uh, Rab Rabbanan are more stringent. Uh, well, that be because the rabbis are stringent about this whole thing, that we're worried that mm. every time the non Jews make cheese, that they there might be some halav tama in it, mm. right? That's not a safek anymore, mm. right? That's essentially karov levadai. Right. So, we okay. levadai. so that's not a fake sveka, yeah. all right? Mm. In that case, that's it. That's where I want so you to get. I want it's you to get. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so but, but what about hacha? Masha Enken hacha. What's our case of the Gavina that was uh, was uh, Ma'amid? The Davar uh, Ma'amid was Halav uh, uh, Trefa, right? Okay. Part of it, part of it was Halav Trefa. Masha Enken hacha de Mayre sheyesh Rov Levatel, because here there was there was Rov. Uh, it was Batel Berov in the Renet, right? Uh, or the, oh no, Rov is is right. It is you've got many pieces of cheese. Going on here, right? You've got uh, rove, you know, you've got kosher kvina all around, and one piece mm -hmm. of kvina that uh, had some uh, okay. in its in its curdling process had some non kosher milk mixed in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ela sheata ba leosro mitzat chatichareu la lit kabed baze ani omer de haveirak isur balua. But but here in our case uh, it's forbidden. Um, uh, it should be forbidden as uh, uh, But it's not because it's only Yisur Balua. Right, but it's not because right because in it was only Yisur Balua and it wasn't forbidden like the Atzma. Okay, exactly. Okay. So it might be forbidden for some other reasons, but but you know, so in other words, he's he's saying that he's splitting the the, the Torah Hatat, right? He's saying he's he's not inconsistent. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now I wanna I, I'm gonna take over for a minute here. He says, sure. right, od, this is what the Taz keeps writing. Makomakom near Eli, the stam gvina shalavid kochavim, hashvina li sur balua, uftela, right? That just non-kosher you know, cheat, not non-kosher cheese, cheese of non-Jews, right? Which is assumed, right? We just remember to assume, we assume that the milk is kosher uh, because we assume that only kosher milk generally makes cheese, but mm -hmm. that there could have been non-kosher milk mixed in with it. That's the, that's the fear. It's a hashash and therefore there's a, a, a gezerah de Rabbanan that you can't, uh, you can't eat it, right? That's still considered Isur Balua and it's Betela, right? So therefore it doesn't fall under um, right. Right. All right. So he says, but you know, because the truth is we follow the rove. Most cheeses don't have this mixture. And therefore, um, uh, therefore we assume that it is, uh, it can be batel and it's, uh, uh, um, in, in rove and not as a hatichab, uh, reality kabed. So, right, which is actually like an amazing, um, um, uh, uh, well, actually, we go up. Ah, mashikatav besof durav, imyesh chashash, mamidimoto be or kevat nevela, right? Mikoch ze yesh la din chatihari litkabed. It says, but if we think that they use the stomach of a nevela, right, which is um, not a, a kosher way to make the cheese, then it is chatihari litkabed. Right, ki isur basar bechalav yeshkan because right because then it it has now it's a basar chalav combination and that is its own new thing right which we saw is not isur balua anymore that is um but uh, uh it, it is a chatechari alid kabed right 
All right. Uh, and that's the end of the Taz. And then the Beratev picks up. He says, right. He says, no, no, no. I disagree because the whole thing, reason we said that a Basar Bechalav is, becomes a Chatechari Yelet Kabed is because Basar and Chalav by themselves are Mutar. And so when we combine them, become a sur, therefore it must be a new thing, right? Because you, if they go of two things that were mutar, become something that's sur, they must form a new, a new thing, right? The cholchad share mitzad atzmo. Vize lo shayach benevela, right? Um, uh, but uh, he says, but this isn't the case because the kevat nevela was an isur to begin with. And so therefore it must be a devar balua. And therefore he thinks even in that case, it is uh, not really kabed, it's devar balua and it's batel, right? Um and gamu neged mashikatava mechaber besimam pezayin so forth ayin sham. All right. Um, I just for for time's sake, I'm going to stop there. Um, I just thought it was a really interesting argument. So just to summarize, the Taz says I think that um, gvinat akum is uh, devar balua that that we're worried about, and therefore it is even though right any you know anything is devar hamami is not itself batel right in the cheese the cheese can be batel in six or in in rove in other pieces of cheese um because right it's it's still considered devar balua in terms of, from the perspective of khatikhari alikabed and but the taz says but if the reason that it was if it was mamid in the kevat of a nevela and then we're worried about basar uh, uh, and halav combinations, he the Taz says then it's then it is chatikhari let kabed, but the Bear Hatev disagrees with him and says no because and this is the, his chiddush, which is I think amazing. He says why is basar b'chalav a a new thing and it's therefore machmat atzma is because both things started out as heterim and they become an isur. But if one of the things started as an isur and they combine to make another isur, then it's devar balua. Um, and it is, it is therefore not real like Gabed. It's a lot in that one Berhatev, but I think there's some really important principles there uh, that come out of it. So, um, good. Rav Nachum, you, you want to add anything or correct anything? Well, just, I want to say that the, the, Hiddish, the, the Rabbi Akiva Eger, I think says that that Hiddish of the, of the, of the Berhatev, I think is Rabbi Akiva Eger. Um, that sounds really familiar because I remember I, f I flagged one Rabbi Kiva Eger in here that I was thinking about having yeah, us. We looked, yeah, we learned it last two years ago, but oh, that's why. Uh, so. Look, look, uh, whatever after class, look at it. I think it's, I think he says the same thing. So good. In the but, interest I mean, of the time, Kiddush here is, that, oh, go for is it. That, I think that's a, an important Kiddush is that even though your mom mead with uh, trefa milk, that's still considered balua. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is batel um, because it's a balua, and it's yeah. even though it's yeah. devar mami. When we say devar mami, it is usher. That's ushering the thing, but it's still a din, even though it's very small. Even though it's one in a million, let's say it's still going to usher the thing because it's devar mami. But that doesn't take away the din of balua from it. Mm -hmm. It's still a thing that's balua with something that's usher. And therefore, when we talk about the the law of hatikharui the tchabed, we have to treat it as a balua thing. Um, that's of the main point, I think. But then he's distinguishing if the milk itself would be theoretically from a trefa animal, then it would be mamish trefa milk, yeah. trefa cheese. And it was going to be hundred percent. Then it wouldn't be a devar balua. And then it's its and own. The only and and certainly if if it was, and so we're talking about a case where it was mamied with trefa milk, but the trefa milk wasn't the substance of the cheese. Yeah. As far as the case of the of of cheese that has little bit of traf of 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 tummy milk in it camel milk in it i think i'm not sure but i think that that would yes be considered a but i'm not sure i'm not sure i have to think about that All right, i mean then. it's not a devar mommy that's a question because the rabbis ushered it it's a dinder rabbanan yeah so and therefore it goes back to what we said before that dinder rabbanan is is, is I not patel would be Khatikhari Ali Kabed. So I think he's only talking about a case where your mommy did with something that's usser. Yeah, that makes sense to me. That that if if the camel milk actually if uh, the adding of, of non-kosher milk to it makes it because there's a derabin on Isur on the whole thing because of it. Yeah, I think so. That's what it seems to, uh, you have to go back and look at the Taz carefully. Yeah. But uh all right, with that, I just uh, in terms of interest of time, I want to read um Gimel in particular in the Shulchan Aruch, because that's that's going to deal with the question of the Rosh. 
Um, so um, maybe, um, Alana, do you want to read Gimel for us? Sure. Tarnagolet benotzata shenitarva ba'achirot betila deharei ena reali kabed lifnei ha'orchim kemot shehi. Ve'afal pi she'achar shenitarva hesiru hanotza v'chein lo chashiva reuya lehit kabed ele im ken hi mebua v'chein, I'm sorry, the hesiru hanotza. V'chein lo chashiva reuya lehit kabed ele im ken hi mebushelet V'chein kevesh shalem o chaticha gidola yoter yoter midai lo chashiva ruya lit kabed she'ein derech liten lifnei harech kevesh shalem o chaticha gidola yoter midai v'yesh chokim b'chol zeh. Okay, so it's there. So basically, the thing has to be ready to uh, ready as it ready to be in order to be a chaticha shreya kabed, but it has to be something you can serve as it is. Um, it can't be, you know, missing another tikkun like we're plucking the feathers or whatever. Um, uh, Whose din was that? Where did we see that din before? In last year, say for a truma. That's say for a truma. Brought by the Ron. You're talking about when we saw it in Biria, right? If if I remember correctly, right? When we were, uh, a week ago, or do we see it this week? This week. No, I mean, this is last year. This week? We, we, brought, we learned that long run. Yeah, yeah, that was this we week. Brought yeah, yeah. Sefer at Truma yeah. Yeah. that said this thing, this point, that if it's too big or too small. And the Rosh made fun of it. And the Yesh Cholkim because it is the Rosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no? which we saw. In, yeah, the Yesh Cholkim is, is the Rosh, which we saw in the tour. Um, so, but uh, right. Um, and, and, and I, also, yeah. Oh, we didn't see it. In yeah, we didn't see it. In so, which is good, right? So here, the the uh, Shulchan actually has um, has hedged his bets um, in, in the sense, right? He's he's given both opinions. Um, I want how much time do we have? I have four minutes. I, I want to look at the Beer Hagra. You'd bet. Um, maybe I'll read it. Um, right, Vyeshkolchim Bekolze. Right, and he says I antosvot bezvachim. Right, and so forth. And then uvi uvi yevamot, and he says uriay uraya midachashiv bichal shishadrim right tardim uchruv videlat right vehani ain derech levashlam shlemim right vel korcha bechayim ayre he says wait a second remember those cases the six or seven things that are are not batel right that are because of etched darkoli manot also darkoli manot or or maybe not actually it's the chachamim so it's just their list. Right, those are things that are whole, not ready to be served, and they're clearly clearly raw, right? And yet they're mm-hmm. still not batel, and so that's proof from that list that even if you're not ready to be served right now, but you can be eventually, you still have your chashivut. And this is the ron. Yeah, this is brought by this is not his chiddush. This is the ron says this, but uh, oh, you th- th- yeah, okay. So, um, but and then he says right, and so, so same thing. So this is uh, the Gruck, I guess, copying the, it's a good point, copying the run. Uh, and he does, it's funny, he doesn't quote him there. He has just the Rosh, I think, right? Um, mm-hmm. So he might not, I dare say he might not have read the run, but. I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that. That's, uh, this is the Grau we're talking about. So, yeah, he did uh, like to collect, but he was, he was a bit of um, a, a purist. In other words, he may have wanted to see the original, you know, maybe he based everything on the Gemaras. Exactly. Excel. Yeah, he had to go back to the original sources. So, but uh, mm-hmm. but so you can see the one thing I think it's important that that yeah. we see that the Machaber hasn't actually made a dec- decision on this. He yeah. keeps the he actually I will say he's different from the tour and that the tour kind of sounded like he's like you know Rabu Deot, um, but he's like you know but he's quoting his father the whole time and his father was against uh, you know the people who thought that it, that these things were batel mm-hmm. a whole animal or or something that's uncooked. Um, versus the 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 Mechaber brings it as a v'yesh chokin because that right he does a very different formulation of it. A lot of debate about how what you do with the with a yesh cholek or a yesh omrim in the in Mechaber, but uh, but I think it just it also does it makes it sound almost like he's more leaning away from the rosh a little bit. So um, okay, um, the uh, I wanted to just if there's anything that was not in the tour. That we're missing. We, we have to just mention that the the, that the Ramah holds. Oh, we oh we did um, we didn't did we not do the Ramah yet? We didn't. You, oh, yes. you got to you got to at least uh, mention the Ramah. Uh, I'll read the Ramah. 
וכן נוהגים מלבד תרנגולת בנוסתה דמחוסרת מעשה גדול. זה נוהגים בה שהיא בטלה. So the Rama holds like the Yeshchokin, but with the exception of if, if it takes a lot of work, like the, the bird with its feathers. Right, so this uh, is a chiddush. This is something we didn't see. In, okay. As far as I didn't know the source of this, actually. Well, um, in other words, tour b'shem yeshomrim Mordechai. I guess it's the Mordechai. But uh, in other words, we're holding like, that it doesn't matter if it's bigger or smaller. It's, yeah. it's you know, if it's huge animals, still had to with the bed. But if it's mechusar maase gadol, if it really requires a lot of preparation, as if it's just to cut the steaks up into pieces, into you know, cut the, the meat, the slab of meat into steaks, then it's still really the trebet. But if it's yeah. if it still needs full processing, you have to skin the animal and all that kind of stuff. And that kind of explain, I mean, whatever. Then then just if you shecked it an animal, it wouldn't be a hatikha really the trebet because you still have to skin it and do all those other things to it. Yeah, you know, it's um he actually, what does he say? Um, so the Rama holds like the Yeshokin, but he says that the Yeshokin is the the Yeshokin. the entire animal can be made into steaks, but the legs until you like skin them properly are not edible in some cases or in some places. And that might be different, right? So you can have a whole animal that's not Patel, but part of the animal that is, even though it could have eventually be made into reality Kabed once you do enough work, but it's too much work. Um, I, I, maybe this, and we'll close with this. Everyone just, just take a look um, at the very end of the, the Shach and Yud Bet. Uh, he says the same thing again in Yud Gimel, um, but I just want to read this. He says, V'nireh de'akol lefiaz man ve'amakom. Right. Um, in terms of what is reality kaved, that this is also a, a thing that uh, depends on uh, where you live and what is actually not in terms of like masegado. I'm not talking about that, but in terms of the things that actually fall under the category of like what what can would actually you know make you know would I serve to a distinguished guest uh, that they would like me uh, changes you know maybe some societies it's a big steak and other societies maybe it's a, a small piece of meat that's a delicacy or something like that and that's dependent on where you live so um so you need horat chacham at the end of the day you can't decide this just just on your own i guess but uh so rav nachum any closing words as as we hit three o'clock or we've gone over three o'clock so. um no no uh I think well, the rest of the CE, the rest of the CE theme pretty much talk about, you know, various types of animals, you know, and things that, uh, uh, you know, that he's poskening particular things. And I, you know, I think, and then, and then what you Joel just said is the right attitude. It depends on what's going on in your particular time, in your location, you know, whether like in Sif, in, Sim, in, in Sif Chet, he says, talks about the stomachs. Yeah. You know, these are questions that depends on what people are really honored by. Mm -hmm. I, I will point people to in your spare time, you should read Chet and Tet again, just because some interesting stuff about uh, can we match if like we lose, you know, animals, can we match them back up uh, and decide which one is, you know, like I lose a trefa among other trefot and but I have the head still, can I match the body to the head and then assume that I've gotten the trefa or not? <laughs> Um, it's like a really important question, you know. Can can you can you match up things to to remove the uh, the circumstance? Jigsaw right. puzzle. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh. <laughs> but uh, um, and the other people object to it because they say like well you can't really be sure of such a thing yeah. so they say it's only if you're really sure so it's, good you can't just sort of it's well, not you a, it has to be but it's uh all right so with all that um i will uh wish everybody a good rest of hanukkah a good oh we, we're still Next Sunday, next Monday is we. It's still Hanukkah, isn't it? Okay, I don't remember what they were on anymore. But mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so. Oh, but not for you. And if you live in Israel, then it'll be it'll be the end. So, uh, and uh, yeah, you're up. And a good Shabbos. We're supposed to good get Shabbos. a ton of snow. So you know, good luck to us. So, <laughs> but uh, stay warm. Hey. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. all right. Bye. Bye. Shabbat shalom. 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 Shabbat shalom.